Ladies and gentlemen, the last time I tried to do a left-handed draft, things went a little bit sour, to say the least, because your boy did it again. Took a, not even a fourth liner, right? I took frickin' Pat Rice Burger on, first line centerman, and he was right-handed. How did I miss that? And you know what else I noticed too, is that in the right-handed draft, I specifically went through each player to make sure. Of course, I forget that for the left-handed one. I could have at least traded him or something, you know, but no, of course not, so... It's time to redo it. Okay, let's hit the reset button. Left-handed draft again. And as most fantasy drafts do, we're going to start with a team randomization. Okay, so I am just staring at you guys right now. Boom! We get the Mighty Ducks. All right, we take that. We do take that. Continue. And owner mode, no thank you. Yes, please. We are doing a draft after all. You know what? I kind of have a feeling we're going to get a, a, a high pick this time. I don't know why I have that feeling, but I just do. So, on that note, I'm going to say we get pick number four. Yeah, let's go with four. Let's start up the career and see if I am correct. I mean, unlikely. It's a 1 in 32 shot. I was kind of close. We were top 10. All right, decent. So, left-handed players. Holy crap. Can't be that hard, can it? Um, hmm. Who can we take? Panarin looks pretty good. Just kidding. Gotcha. I'm actually going to take a defenseman first, and I can't decide if it's going to be Roman Yossi or Victor Hedman. I think it's going to be Victor Hedman because I have taken Yossi sometime in recent memory, and I don't know if I've ever taken Victor Hedman. I don't think I've ever had a pick high enough, or that's actually probably not true. I probably have taken him recently as well and just forgot, but nonetheless, I'm so there he is. That's our boy. He's got to be our first line center. Look at all those abilities. You know what? I am going to take Jake Gensel. Let's go for it. I'm going for it. Jake Gensel, 88 overall. He has an X factor as well. Patrice Bergeron's looking real tempting. I'm not going to lie. Evgeny Malkin. He would go real good with Gensel. Because, you know, they are sort of both Pittsburgh Penguins. So this is pretty much going to be a uh, Penguins draft, apparently. Which is not true because I have Victor Hedman. So, but I guess majority rules, it'd be two out of three. So technically, you could make an argument. And then all it takes is... Ah, oh, never mind, he shoots right. Anyway, yeah. Should I take Malkin? I feel like I should. Let's go for it. If I somehow manage to screw this up again and take another right winger, then I'll just, I'll just trade them. I'll just trade them when it boils down to it, you know? But hopefully it doesn't come to that. Tom Wilson, that would be sick, but no bueno. I do want to take Kreider again because he's sick, but... Ah, oh, he has no abilities or anything. Come on, Christopher. You know, I think I'm just going to take him anyway. This guy's a beautician. He did amazing for me in fantasy hockey this year. Welcome to the team, Kristoff. Simply for the fact that he has three abilities, I'm taking Robin Hood. So, yeah, he gloves left. And I know that that doesn't necessarily mean that you shoot left or whatever. Because I glove left and I shoot right. But it's like I'm just going based off of if it says left or not. Okay? That's what I'm, I'm going for here. Because I feel like you could catch left. And still shoot left. And you could catch right, shoot. You know, it doesn't matter. So I'm taking Robin Leonard, okay? It's it's done. It's done. Ooh, Giordano. Four abilities there. And he is, in fact, left-handed. That contract is also very doable. Welcome to the team, sir. Only because he is listed as a right winger who shoots left, I am 100% taking four check. He's also got three abilities in there, so that helps his case a little bit as well. But... Yeah. Okay. Our our cap space not looking so hot, boys. We gotta we gotta smarten up here big time. Jared McCann, perfect. He's on a sub three million dollar deal. I mean barely, but you know, it's there. So we will grab him to be a center. And yeah, we don't have a lot of players. And our cap space is already looking pretty scary. Uh-oh. Anyway, welcome to the team. Alex Kalorn. I feel like I'm drafting essentially the same team here. I don't know if my allergies are coming back or what, but holy, I am suffering this morning. This is this is not not good, to say the least. What about good old Boone Jenner? Sure, 3.7. I mean, it's not a cheap deal, but could be worse. Yeah, we are doing okay so far, I think. Famous last words. I said that about the last draft, and we took Patrice Burge run as the second pick, so that's a thing. He's on a good deal, I can't say no to it. What about, actually, Howla and Rodriguez as well? Okay, so I could take Eric Howla, and then I might take 
Sonk, if he's still there, which I'm assuming he probably will be. I feel like no one touches that guy. It's weird. Where is he? No. No way. Did I miss him? Or is he actually gone? It doesn't matter that he's still there because I'm taking Superman. Ilya Mikheyev is joining the mighty Ducks of Anaheim on our left-handed journey here. So we have $16 million of cap space and we have two defensemen on our roster. Yandel, you're gonna, you're gonna come in clutch here. Yep. Boom. Make that pick. I'm definitely gonna make sure to go through our team at the end of this and make sure that everybody is in fact left-handed. So we don't have a repeat. Imagine that. Goes to do a redo and still manages to... I wouldn't be surprised, actually. Eric. He is, in fact, a left-handed shot. Making 800k. And boom. That will be our fourth defenseman. So we basically just need two forwards, a backup goalie, and our final defensive pair. So we're... You know, we're doing okay cap-wise. Ooh. I'm just going to do it. We'll try to find picks that fit within the cap, but I, I needed those abilities in my life. Okay, goalies. Who can we still take here? Mike Smith. It's got to be, right? We got Craig Anderson. We also got Keith, but I'm going to take Smitty. Okay, yeah, let's let's do that. And now the, the last three picks here. Yeah, the last three picks have to be super budget. And what better way than 750k Zdeno Chara? And that will leave us with over 5k for the last two picks, which is very doable, I think. <laughs> Hopefully. We basically need a forward and we need a defenseman. Let's just see who's available for defense, first of all. Take the, the D-man first. Okay, what about Edler? There we go. 3.5. That should be... Yeah... Okay, you shoot right. And... Sherratt? He also shoots left. Oh, now it's Edler or Sherratt? Yeah, you're 82 overall. We'll take you instead. <laughs> that one overall makes the world of a difference. Who's going to be our final forward? That is the final question. I am going to take Connor Sheary to be our final... Hmm. Or should I find a more defensive player? I feel like I haven't drafted this guy in a long time. So let's bring up the average age of the team by drafting Jumbo Joe. All right, moment of truth. Time to go put these lines together and find out if I did actually only take left-handed players or not. Loving that plus five. Not a big fan of this dash too. Let me just run through, make sure that everybody is freaking left-handed this time. I'm not making that mistake twice. Yes, okay. All right. Everyone is left-handed. If I go to defenseman. Oh, let's go. Left. Yeah. Okay. Splendid. No! Wait. Okay, never mind. I didn't draft you. That scared me for a second. Uh, Yandel. There you go. Get in there. Oh, hello, chemistry. That is wild. We're going to rock the NHL this year like a hurricane. I actually haven't heard that song in a minute. That's been a while. You know what? You guys might have no chemistry whatsoever, but I'm going to... I'm going to... Put some trust in you here that <laughs> you're gonna make it work. Yeah, because there's nothing I can even do. If I bring him down, it becomes even worse. What if I bring both of you down? No, that doesn't help either. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna leave it. We are just going to leave it. Defensively, we are very good. Goaltenders, we've got Leonard and Smith. I'm saying we're making the playoffs for sure. Like 49 wins. No, 50. We're getting 50. We're breaking the big 5-0. And... Malkin gets the most points with 87. His boy's number. Yeah, okay. You heard it here first. I'm actually going back to double check because I do not want to do this again. So it looks like everybody is in fact left-handed. Yup. Okay. Good stuff. Splendid. Goalies. Left. Whew. Okay. We we are... If, if, if I missed one, then this is just not meant to be. I will never do a left-handed draft again in my life. Not the best start in the world. Not the best start in the world, but that's okay. Normally, you have a bad start and you turn it around and start dominating. But um, yeah, maybe this isn't one of those times. Hopefully it is. Oh no. How, bro? <laughs> what is going on? We kind of turned it around for a second there and then we just went straight back to losing. So that's fun. Hopefully. Okay, well, I'm, I'm starting to already think, in fact... I'm pretty sure 50 at this point, just out of the picture. That's not happening. So apparently the meta is to draft an all left-handed team with one superstar right-handed player. 
and you will be the best team in the league. I'm actually curious to see why we suck. Like, what's going on here? Victor Hedman has the most points, so that's awesome. Our first line that has plus five chemistry is literally not doing anything. Um, let's edit the lines here. Did I even change any of the lines? I'm even using, like, the computer's lines. Normally that works. Okay, well now they want Radulov there, apparently, and Madison, I gotta take you out again, sorry. But Yandel must be in there, as he does shoot left. I don't know if we can make a TSN turning point here or not, but one can only hope. I'm gonna say that we're a buyer. Enter the deadline. Is there any left-handed players here that could help us out? Flurry could help us out, I would think. Jesper. Ryan Suter. He's got some abilities, no? Maybe? I think so. He doesn't have a very high trade value. He's only got two abilities, but you know, that's not that bad. If I go to our defenseman now, I could give you... Who could I give you? <laughs> what about Chara? Zedno? That's not That's not even close. What about a draft pick? Just say screw it. You got two first? I give you the Bruins first. Oh, oh yeah, we're way over the salary. Okay, so that's just... It's not going to happen. It's not in the cards. It is not there. Uh, Marc-Andre Fleury? <laughs> Robin Leonard, where are you at? Let's go. Goalies. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Goalies. They want Mike Smith, apparently. Alright, we could arrange that. Mike Smith. And... Do you want draft picks? You do. I'll give you that. Marc-Andre Fleury has too much retained salary. Oh. <laughs> to make us fit within the cap, I guess. Yeah. Well... I don't know. I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, we just simply have, like, no cap space. So we're just going to get out of the deadline here and hope that we can turn it around, even though it's probably not happening. I mean, it's not impossible to come back from this, but it's not, not going to be an easy task. We got a big uphill climb, and that is not a good way to start. We've brought it back to 30 and 30, never mind. No, we suck. We literally suck. I don't get the simulation engine in this game. I really don't. Like, what's wrong with our team? We had a plus five on defense, plus five for our first offensive line. And, you know, it's, I don't know. Something's weird, man. But, yeah. Like I said, I think we found the meta with the one right-handed player. Because clearly, just left-handed players can't get it done. And right-handed players couldn't either. The Montreal Canadiens win the Stanley Cup. Rochester gets the Calder. Okay, well... Let's go have a look at some things here, shall we? 66 points from Malkin. That's it. Pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. Yeah, we finished. Why am I blanking out on what team we even were? Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm on us. Anaheim. <laughs> 83 points. Yeah, we weren't even really close to a playoff spot, but it is what it is. See if the top 16 teams made it. Montreal won the President's Trophy as well. So they just had a really dominant season. Let's find out. Who's on their roster, shall we? Forsberg, Hurdle, Line A, Rust for Hagi, LeBanc. They do have a good team. They do have a good team. I will give them that. Their defense, not phenomenal, but they had Vazzy in net, so that kind of makes up for that. Yeah, well then. Good for you, Montreal. Good for you. Malkin, yep, led the team. Gensel had 62. Hedman with 61. Voracek, 50. Radulov, 48. All right. Oh, Boone Jenner, 47. Let's go. Chris Kreider just disappeared, apparently. He got 44 points. Mr. Leonard did not do so hot. A sub-900 save percentage and above a 3 GAA. Mike Smith did pretty good, to be fair. But yeah, Robin Leonard. Guy struggled. I feel like he's done that for me before, too. Maybe I might be done with you, Robin. I might be done. Let's check out the entire league, shall we? Boom. Varlamov led the league with 44. He was on the board, too. I could have taken him. He went up to 90 overall. Are you kidding me? Got a 920 save percentage, 242. It do be like that sometimes. Let's check out the defenseman. Fox with 87. Holy crap, Adam. Calm down. Kale McCarr, 65. Same with John Carlson. Provorov, 63. Good for you. Quinn Hughes, 63. All right, there we go. Forwards. Boom. We get Barkov with 103. He led the league, and he's the only player to break 100. Philip Forsberg with 99. Uh, I could have taken him as well. Oh, no, I couldn't. He's right-handed. Never mind. Never mind. Johnny Goudreau with 97. 
And Line A got 42 goals. Ovechkin with 54. Good for you, OV. He's probably got the Rocket Richard then. It looks like, yeah, he does. For sure. Okay. Let's go look at the awards. As we know. Yep. And Calgary made it to the finals. Okay. Barkov with the Art Ross and the Hart. Fox gets the Norris. Line A with the Lady Bing. Trevor gets the Calder. All right. Con Smythe goes to Philip Forsberg. Varlamov with the Vesna. Kemper gets the Jennings. Nutavara with the Masterton. Benoit with the Jack Adams. Lindholm gets the Selkie. Barkov with the Lindsay. And as we know, Over Chicken with the Rocket Richard. Nice. Playoff tree. There you have it. Okay. So this time it was actually a left handed draft. I hope. If someone's going to point something out and then I'm going to face palm big time. But I'm pretty sure that I did okay this time. Well, guys, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that. If you have other draft ideas, be sure to comment them down below. And yeah, it's going to do it. Thank you guys. I'll see you soon.